Hello everyone and welcome to my OpenTTD tutorial slash let's play series. In the last episode we've built the, uh, or let's say expanded our mainline. Uh, we've also built the splitter here, which makes trains switch, uh, uh, switch tracks as they need. And hopefully in this episode we will be able to finally... To finally change this whole mess that's the central station right now. I mean the exit is perfectly fine, I like this, but I just don't like the entry. I also noticed, and I'm sorry for that, that you weren't able to see the bottom bar, so I fixed that now and hopefully it will be better. And let's try bribing the local authority here so we can finally deal with the station. And I think it failed. Yeah, it failed. Alright. Good now. What we can do to increase our rating is uh, build like several road stations here. For example, I don't know. Here, it doesn't really matter. Ah, crap. They really hate destroying trees, right? <laughs> Alright, let's create the Forster make two super bus. I think we can create like some of them. And da -da -da -da. for now, before our authority gets up, uh, I think we can create more splitters. So I think this should be a good spot for one. We can build another here. So it doesn't really matter if you start with the outer track to the inner one, I usually prefer just the outer one to, uh, you know, outer one to the, uh, I mean the inner one to the outer one, like this, because, because the trains that are going on main lane uh, don't have to go over the bridge. Uh, so build it like so. And we are gonna set the signals here. Uh, I think the signals is the hardest part. I mean, the design isn't really that hard to copy. Wow, this was a weird bridge. I mean, this one. Uh, I mean, the rails are kind of simple. You just wanna connect with one straight rail, the inner to the outer or vice versa, and then the other track. Uh, then you wanna build a bridge over that and then connect the other tracks as you find suitable. Uh, let's do it here again. So that's up to inner. Uh, path signal here. A bridge over that. And right now as we connected the inner to outer, we wanna do the other thing. You know, connect the other way as well. So that means uh, connecting the outer one, like this, to the inner one. Uh, the problem here, or something that I've noticed earlier, uh, as we are setting the pre signals here, you don't really like want. Well, I usually prefer to have at least one normal signal here before like this division, so the trains won't get stuck here. So that's one split. I think another reasonable spot would be here, for example. So. Outer, uh, inner to outer, path signal over that, bridge over that, over the rail, and I think we can connect it right like so, and connect it to the inner one. Passing, uh, click once, click three times, click two times with control, and do the same thing on the other side, so. Yeah, I think this is a good place. You don't really want like uh, these things too often on the track, otherwise the the trains will just go total total nuts. So <coughs> they will be just con constantly splitting tracks, and that's something you really want to avoid. Uh, here I'm thinking about making like a l waiting bay, sort of. So I will connect the outer, uh, the inner to the outer, uh, like this. Again, two clicks, three clicks, one click. Just a regular block signal here. 
and right now we yeah we want to connect the outer to the inner one so that means building a bridge here in fact I think this might be better uh, I'm gonna build bridge here and then connect it like so put signals everywhere here because we don't want trains on this track to lose speed when there is a you know if there is a train going on over the bridge <coughs> and here again two-way signals two clicks three click and the rail where the train wants to where you want the trains to wait just click once and I'm not sure if it's worth to like build another one here I guess we could so again, path signal, uh, bridge over that, oh let's do it here, right, and here we wanna connect like so, again, one click, three clicks, two clicks, and make these two way. Uh, we also wanna destroy this piece of rail, because and we want to destroy this uh, because uh, we want the trains to on the if if we are connecting any stations here we want to connect them to the uh, outer lanes so this way it should should work flawlessly uh, the trains will be split uh, will be changing tracks as needed uh, for them to get to this uh, to the final stations Let's see if we got better authority here, we got poor, which is awesome, so we can finally redo this whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna destroy a piece of rail here and the other track as well, and then I'm just gonna delete every single rail here. And make like a fresh start, because this is just awful. So I don't really have any like particular idea how we wanna connect everything. I just know, uh, I just feel like connecting six platforms to each of this track. So I guess this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we could do it like this. Or do we? I think this will be better. Uh, in the end it doesn't really matter. So that's one track dealt with. Let's put signals here. We wanna put the pass signal here. So either choose the pass signal here or click four times on the normal block signal. Here we are probably gonna connect it here. But then we don't really, I mean, there's not enough space, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna split it into two rails, uh, like so. I mean, just to make it nice and tidy. <laughs> right, this should be okay. Right, put signals everywhere. Uh, here I'm gonna put pass signals, so four clicks on that. <coughs> we can also do something like I think the trains will do it manually, but this is kind of neat thing. If you ever want the trains to like split tracks, uh, what you can do here is do something like this. This might seem a bit unnecessary, but what this does is that if there is a train, or unless a train is past this signal, so if there's a train like here, 
uh, then this little signal will show uh, red. So the trains will be forced to use uh, just this track. I'm not sure if I built it correctly because I don't really use this, but we'll see. Right, central station no longer accepts passengers. That's too bad. Right, seems like trains are going nicely. Considering we have just like 43 trains, it looks like we have at least 100. <laughs> right, uh, for now I think we can just resort back to connecting stations. So there's nice coal mine. I'm just gonna build quick now. I don't think I really want like it any more further here. So I'm. This won't be the most effective thing. Ever. <laughs> you usually don't want like these short curves because the trains will lose speed there, but this is gonna be the last station on this sideline, so it doesn't really matter. Right, gonna create a uh, dim electric. Uh, put the pass signal here. And gonna send this to the central station. I think. Five trains should be good. Uh, let's create on. Uh, let's connect something on this side of map. Here we can see. Yeah, you always want at least one train in the station to load uh, goods at all times, because uh, uh, then the then the production of the resource connected to that increases, as it will increase your uh, your rating. And that way, if, if you have a good rating with the station, it will increase production uh, like every month or so, or every year, I'm not sure now. Right, gonna put another coal train here, because there's a lot of coal uh, waiting. And there's also another coal mine, so what we can do is just make a transfer station. It's a station that's connected, like this is a loading area for the big trains to go to the central station, but what we're gonna build here is a just small track and we will make it go to the coal mine, full load here and make it go to the other coal mine. So the Grandstone Bay mines, full load, uh, at the other mine we're gonna transfer and leave empty. Make it. So what this does is it will load coal here, then it will go to the other station. Uh, it will completely unload the whole coal, uh, uh, like all coal it has, and it will uh, make these trains loaded and get it to the central station. So this is like it's just what transfer does. I'm gonna build another coal train here. Uh, well, there's another coming, so maybe that wouldn't wouldn't have been necessary. But I don't really want to lose uh, raiding with this coal mine because it has a huge supply. Uh, let's see also what another uh, mines have big supply. It seems like we got the biggest one in the map so far. That yeah, this one is ours as well. Let's let's build a sideline here. I think it's reasonable. Yeah. Let's build a sideline just between these two towns. And what we want to really do now is connect it just to the outer tracks. Because, as I said earlier, think of the inner two like a highway. And the outer two are just like small, you know, small roads. So, this is kinda bad. I guess we could just make like two bridges over that. I mean, it's not ideal, but hey, it will work. So let's make two bridges here. Connect them like so. Uh, I'm just gonna put the path signal here. And here we want to... What do we want to do? Probably something like this. 
I missed one tile. Make it go one tile lower. Uh, make at least four tiles straight and here we wanna connect it like so. Right. And yeah, I, I thought for a second that uh, yeah, I put the wrong signal there. But this isn't that good. Let's just put a path signal here and it will deal with everything. In fact, I think we will might have to build a third bridge just to be just to be safe. Because we don't really want uh, our trains to wait there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Where is the music? Why did it stop? <laughs> right, uh, here we wanna build signals. Oh. Control, click, drag. Uh, we, If you are connecting anything into like this, I'd say highway for trains, you really wanna do the pre-signal thing. So uh, again, two-way signals, two clicks, three clicks, one click. With control pressed, of course, so it will cycle through the through the signals. And let's finally connect the mine. I think two platforms will be enough. Uh, we really want to make straight curve here, though. So let's lower the terrain a bit. Yeah, connect it like like this. Uh, we're gonna make the usual cross here. No need to overcomplicate things. Just put path signal there. <coughs> and here we wanna connect it to the other rail, which unfortunately I think we will have to do here. Right? Oh, we can do it like so. Just have to increase the train a bit again. Right. Again, this is a station connected to kind of main line or side line to be precise. This is our main line. This is side line. These two tracks, and we are just connecting station here. So again, pre signals. So trains coming from like uh, this is our station. We've just made the junction here. So trains coming from this part of map, like because there's some stupid train going here. And uh, water line from the mines to the station. Four trains should be enough. Let's see if there are any gems. Seems like everything functions properly. So far so good. Uh, I'm kind of scared about this whole junction, but so far it's working. Let's put the signal here just, just to make sure everything works. <coughs> I completely forgot we can we can uh, connect the farms as well now because we got a factory the factory there. So I kinda like this farm but well it won't be that hard to connect, right? We can also we can also start thinking about where we want to unload our goods. In fact, I think we will... We will... Do it here. Like somewhere in this part of the map. Unfortunately, this doesn't accept goods. But this doesn't do either. Yeah, this accepts goods, but it's too far away. Well, well, we will think of that later. For now let's just connect, uh, connect this factory as well. So again, cross here. I mean there are other types of stations as well but I don't know, I've never found the use for most of them as I don't really build like any huge networks. 
I mean, there are the various, like, stations with loading base and... Uh, well, not loading base, like waiting base where the train goes, uh, goes in a circle unless there's a free space in the... in the station, but I don't think that's needed. Right, just gonna make this one as well. Uh, this sucks. Yeah, this is it's much better. There's always a way to deal with the tra terrain. Right, gonna build a depot here again. Uh, you can also just build like one depot here. Uh, like at the exit of the central station and then just send the trains on the track and it should work. But I prefer this way more. The trains will get uh, will start loading the goods earlier. Alright. Gonna create livestock train. It has a really low livestock production, so I think one train will be enough and three trains for grain should be should be good as well. <coughs> right, let's see, we got 50 trains, a nice round number. And da -da -da -da. Let's see, I, I think we can just start connecting industries by the amount of produce. And this is kind of far away. Uh, we got this call connected, we... Yeah, this is far away as well. And... Da -da -da. Hmm. I'm not really sure where to expand now, uh, I guess... Again. Oh, the steel mill just got removed. I was thinking about transporting iron ore into into here, but too bad. Right, let's connect this one woods. The last one on, on this side of the map, I think. Uh, so again, uh, I'm gonna create like different type of stations so I don't just build a hole. I don't just don't just don't build like the same thing again and again. Uh, it's gonna be a row row station, which means round in, roll in, roll off. Pardon my English. Right. The thing I don't really like about these type of stations is that. Uh, you really have to build like bridges and stuff so uh, if you want to build like what we did here if you want to make this uh, two track in each direction uh, it's kind of pain in the ass to like rebuild the whole thing but it's doable All right signals here path signal in front of the tunnel because of reasons I will explain in the next episode and just gonna make the signal thing here as well. I mean the pre-signal thing. Right, make some wood wood tracks and send it to the central station. Load. Uh, I mean, this is not that big production. I think three trains should be just enough. I mean, everything works nicely, so it's always nice to see. I mean, solving problems in this game is sometimes very bad. Well, not bad, but uh, I think there we could also improve this by do the, doing the pre signal thing here. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I mean, there are more tracks connected to this rail, so we have to give priority to this rail. Otherwise, I think we are pretty well off. I mean, the trains are changing directions here as they need to. Uh, everything seems to work flawlessly. I mean, this is kind of bad when the trains, uh, 
when the train changes direction and it stops the train behind that, but there's nothing we can really do. I think there's gonna be a problem with these bridges. Uh, but for now, it should be okay. Let's do the signal thing here as well. Just so I don't forget about that. And it should be okay. Alright, uh, hope you liked the video, uh, hopefully you got something out of that, if not please send me a message and I will try to make a separate video for like some of the concepts I'm building with. Uh, in the next episode I am going to explain how signals work, I just wanted to get like some nice network rolling and uh, Maybe you were wondering why we are building path signals everywhere. Or why are we building free signals here. So uh, I will explain that in the next video. So have a nice rest of the day and enjoy OpenTTD.